Our starting point this evening. North Korea has remained quiet for over two months now with no new ballistic missile launches or nuclear tests. But a leading U.S. think tank has used big data analysis to show that there are elevated chances of provocations within the next 30 days. Our Lee jung yan explains. Speculation is rising about when the next provocation will come from North Korea. The Center for Strategic and International Studies predicts that there is a greater chance the regime do something involving a weapon of mass destruction within the next two to four week window. The think tank based in Washington says its big data analysis shows the likelihood of a provocation in the next 30 days on a rolling basis has been breaking records in the past couple of weeks. Just last Tuesday, it reached the highest level since the start of September. And the likelihood of a provocation in the next 14 days has also been climbing every day since November 15th. This means that a ballistic missile test could be expected on or around the 17th of December, the date of the previous leader Kim Jong-il's death. This prediction comes amid a rather quiet two months from the regime, despite new international sanctions and joint military drills between South Korea and the U.S. Two factors could be behind this. The first are the technical limitations of tests in cold weather. According to analysis, the North has only conducted three tests in the last two months of the year in the five years Kim Jong-un has held power. In 2015, North Korea fired a submarine-launched ballistic missile once each in November and December, and in December 2012, it launched the Unha-3 ICBM. Another reason could be that the regime conducts annual military exercises in December, which take up all its time and resources. But historical trends aside, observers are watching the regime closely as the end of the year approaches to see whether its behavior is affected either way by Washington's pressure or the recent visit to Pyongyang by an envoy from China. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.